everyone! So this video is going to be a collective haul video for some things that I've been buying over the last several months. But uh, also, Happy New Year! It's my first video of 2023, so hello! <laughs> Hope your beginning of the year has been fantastic so far. So far mine's been pretty alright, um, but yeah, it's the first video that I filmed since December. Um, the last lot that I filmed, I ended up taking a break over the Christmas and New Year holiday, just doing some stuff around the house, taking it easy, getting over some stuff, and um, yeah, it felt like filming today. So yeah, coming towards the end of January already. It's crazy, but it's, uh, slow down. <laughs> but you know, it's good so far, but I hope you're all doing well. Um, so yeah, these are just some things that I've been picking up over the last couple of months. I haven't had a chance to share with you yet and uh, a lot of them I haven't tried because I want to try them either as a first impressions or really give them a go before I share my thoughts on them as well. If you are interested though in anything that you see or have any questions or if you've tried any of these, I'd love to hear some comments down below so please feel free to leave them. But I guess let's get started. Uh, no surprises, most of them are perfumes, but I've been trying to branch out to some different perfumes, brands that I've never heard of before or never tried before, and um, accidentally ended up stumbling onto some perfumes that seem to actually be quite popular. Um, the first two perfumes are um, Middle Eastern perfumes, and these... The boxes are huge. <laughs> They're really quite cool though, as far as the box goes. First one is from uh, Latafa. I think it's called Anna Abiet. Oh, Abi, yeah, Abiet. Uh, Rouge, Eau de Parfum. That is the box. Uh, after I purchased this, I ended up looking up a bit more about it, and a lot of the reviews ended up saying that it was a dupe or a clone similar to. Uh, Baccarat Rouge, so we'll see. Uh, not the reason why I bought it, I just liked the sound of this one and then that's what they've said. Uh, the second perfume is from Afnan and it's the Modest Apophem Dux or Dieu and um, that's it there. Again, quite a fancy looking box. It looks really big as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. That one is meant to be a chocolate cherry scent and that's why I ended up um, going for this one. But if you've tried either of these or these brands, do let me know. If you have any recommendations as well, I want to try some more Middle Eastern fragrances because I really like a lot of the scents and the notes that they use in that type of fragrance and the really jammy, rosy florals and trying some of the oud perfumes. Um, I just like the way that they smell and I'm interested in trying some different things too. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know below. The next thing I purchased again, perfume. Now this one, okay, so when I first tried this scent, I just couldn't justify it as being worth the price. Um, there were some other cheaper fragrances which I'd smelt in the past that smelled similar and they're actually no longer available. But um, I had a duo of the Kayali scent uh, where it has two perfumes, one on either side of a roller ball and you can try them and I've been layering it with a few things and just wearing it by itself and I've come to appreciate it. So this is the Vanilla 28. It was a, a two set. So this is a 50ml and a 10ml set. I ended up ordering it online from their store, I guess their online website, um, because it was cheaper than buying a 50ml in store here, even on sale. So this, it was discounted quite a lot. And so I thought I'd take the opportunity to buy it because I'd really been wanting a larger bottle. Um, mainly for layering, but wearing this on its own has been quite nice. The next two things are also fragrances and there will be some more. So, <laughs> kind of like a fragrance haul. Actually, for the most part it is. So I hope you're enjoying that. Okay, so the next is a 10ml travel size, another Kayali scent, and this is the newer one. This is Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. 
So the notes are vanilla, golden rum, creme brulee, brown sugar, oud and sugared patchouli. I have not tried this one yet and I am thinking about doing a review on the Kaali scents because I've got quite a few now. There's a few that really stand out and I'm actually quite, in, I'm enjoying them. I'm also using them more as layering scents too, whether or not that be with one another or with other perfumes and that's been working pretty well. Uh, the next is a cheapie and don't diss the cheapie celebrity scents because sometimes you find a gem, like some of the Paris Hilton scents are actually pretty, pretty decent, pretty good and they're cheap. They're very affordable, should I say. That's the nice way of saying cheap, but it's affordable. So this is another very affordable fragrance. It's Kylie Minogue Disco Darling. Uh, I haven't tried this one, looked up the notes quickly, but this is a 30ml bottle and I think it was $9 from Chemist Warehouse. So I thought I'll give that a crack. I think it had, I think it had black currant in it. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I might do like a celebrity fragrance review on some very affordable perfumes and uh, let you know if they're any good or if you should just give them a skip because some of them are, t are terrible. Um, others are really good. More perfumes. So the next is another celebrity scent and this is Christina Aguilera's Cherry Noir. Um, so I know this isn't cherry, it's cherry blossom, but sometimes cherry blossom comes across as being slightly sweet and fruity anyway. So I thought I'd still try it. The box is quite pretty. We'll see how that one goes. Uh, again, with the celebrity scents. This is one where I don't know if it's available overseas. It's not available in many places and it's not even listed on Fragrantica. So this is Power by Delta Goodrum. And I think this is the newest release from Delta Goodrum. No idea um, what the notes are. I know I looked up what the notes were online before I bought it, but I can't remember now. So I haven't tried this one. I also picked up um, a travel set of the other Delta Goodrum fragrances. I don't know if I shared that before though, or if I didn't, but I did do that and I've already packed them away. So just in case I didn't share that with you, I bought those too. Uh, the next one was one that I saw. It was the last one I had on the shelf. And because the Scarter is difficult to find in Australia, I picked this up. Mainly because even though I don't tend to wear Ascada perfumes that frequently, I really enjoy collecting them, as you can tell from behind me right now, and I didn't have this one. So this is Ascada Show Me Love, the limited edition. So it goes along with the other two little love hearts that you can see up there, um, but this is Show Me Love. The next one is another Ascada perfume, which I didn't really know was releasing, but generally they release a couple every year anyway. Um, but when I saw this one again, Chemist Warehouse, fantastic place to pick up the Escada. It's pretty much the only place that I know of that sells them at least in person in Australia. Uh, so this is Escada Santorini Sunrise. And um, I didn't even look this one up, I just ended up purchasing it because they are actually quite affordable, at least in Chemist Warehouse they are. And you know, most of the time with Ascada, it's going to be floral, fruity, citrusy, fresh, fun, summery. So for me, Ascada is a fairly safe perfume purchase. Uh, I think a lot of the ones that are a li little bit more obscure um, are a lot of the older scents that are discontinued. Um, but yeah, anything that looks like this, that is in those bottles that look like that, it's generally fruity, floral, sweet, summer, something along those lines, but I don't mind because I like that. Uh, this is another celebrity fragrance. Um, I think this is an older one, but I only recently saw it and I'm wanting to try again some different stuff and some more affordable things too. So this is a Kim Kardashian scent, which some of them, I've got a few now. So again, it's a brand where I'm building out my collection and um, trying different things from the Kim Kardashian perfume line. Uh, so I might do like a, a brand review on what I've got. But this is Fleur Fatale. 
in the giant white box. Um, again, this one's 100ml, so it's the bigger bottle. Um, it's It kind of looks like a weird, wonky wedding cake, if a wedding cake was trying to be a flower. But, um, yeah. Um, I did test this one, and it smelled pretty decent. And I tested it in store, though, so I haven't tried it on my skin. Um, but it was pretty affordable anyway. And the last of the perfumes <laughs> that I bought and pretty much one of the last things that I picked up to share today is another scent. This is an Elizabeth Arden white tea scent. And you might be saying, but Renee, you own white tea and the flankers. And yes, that is true. But this is the new Eau de Parfum because previously, White tea was an eau de toilette. So this is the eau de parfum version. And yes, it's simple, it's basic, it's kind of a bit more of an old fashioned type of scent. Um, I, I really like it though. It's one of the fragrances where, just the white tea range in general, it's fresh, slightly spicy, not too spicy though. It's like a clean, fresh out of the shower kind of a smell. Um, you know, it's just, it's an easy, non-offensive kind of scent. And I really love the tea notes that come across in white tea. And the last thing that I purchased is a hair product. And this again was part of something that I had a voucher that I needed to use, um, but I had to spend a few more dollars just to get free shipping so I ended up paying a little bit extra and just adding this to that because I ended up working cheaper, working out cheaper to buy something else and saving on shipping which you know sometimes that happens but this is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Miracle Hair Elixir came in the box I was expecting it to be bigger because this was not cheap um, I've used it once so far and don't judge my hair at the moment because I've got this coconut hair mask so my hair's a little hang on um, but I just <laughs> you know it is what it is um, but yeah this stuff is supposed to be fantastic um, it's dry wet tame frizz uh, heat protectant so it's the Coco and Eve that's the thing there as far as the smell goes everybody's saying oh it smells so good it smells so good but I mean, it smells fine, but it just smells coconutty. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I guess, look, looking around me right now, yes, I'm spoiled for scents and fragrances. So, you know. Anyway, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, if you've tried anything that I've shared with you today, I would love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, but that's, that's all for now. Again, like I said before, I hope you're all having a fantastic beginning of the new year of 2023. And my dog is sniffing at the door now, so I'm going to have to go and <laughs> say hi to him. Um, but that's it. So yeah, I hope you're all having a great morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I'll see you all again very soon in my next video. Bye for now.